What is up, fellow Mongs? It's me, Sevi Mong, back with some more Riders of Icarus. And guys, today I'm going to be showcasing the Familiar Farm, okay? Just as a quick intro to this video, we've got the Familiar Farm coming up, 1k special, and then you can expect me to finish off all of the heroics and the mounts in Terrifial Rift before the next update of Cloying Waste. Okay, guys, so we've got a lot to cover. We've got a lot to cover. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below or check back on a regular basis. Remember the name, Game On. And in Nexon's latest update to Riders of Icarus, they've brought a familiar farm. Now, I'm not going to touch on what the community wanted in terms of loot tables and everything else, just because that will bring a negative vibe to the video and we're all about positivity today okay so we're going to be bringing a good overview of what the familiar farm is all of the features that it brings and how a couple of them compare to the uh, Korean and Japanese version Icarus online and how Nexon have actually pushed a few features through as well pushed pushed a few features that have really been different and actually really unique in terms of how they can help you out so we're going to start off with the only building on the familiar farm and it's pretty much like an island like Hellswood read watch Eclipse Shrine I'm trying to think of others Fort Ballast you know it has every single profession like crafting station here it has a storage master and it has an auction master so unless I'm dungeoning I'm going to be here with my familiars in the peace and quiet where no one can troll me, trade me, uh, challenge me to a duel and stuff like that. Because it's got everything. If you need to sell stuff, go to one of the merchants. If you need to sell something at the auction, you've got that. You've got your storage. You've got all your crafting stations so you can power level for your professions. I was about to say, I was about to say through your professions. Jesus. But it's literally just like Kelsey. It's like a... All in one stop. It's just a convenient place for you to do everything and anything. Apart from potentially dungeons. Although, what's that over there? We've got a world shrine, guys. We can travel to any place that we want, okay? This familiar farm has it all. It's fantastic. And moving on from that, that's just... Obviously, you'll know what all of this is. You've seen this in-game. Hoping that you've seen this in-game. We've actually got the familiar herd. Now, a few of the... I'd say, familiars I have cannot be put in the familiar herds, like the event familiars, the haunted bat, the costier beer. Can the mysterious broom go in? No, the mysterious broom can't go in either. But then the founders pack items and the grim cargo and everything can go in. So how the familiar herd works, excuse me, <coughs> is you put in some of your familiars that you don't particularly use too often or don't really need in today's gameplay and you'll get a buff from them obviously it frees up your familiar infantry as well if you need to tame stuff and you can just combine familiars to get a really awesome buff they've got an example down here of things you could add if you had it so if i had one of these hounds i could add it to get more move speed and if i had a ton of them you could potentially fill it up with five and get a huge move speed buff great for pvp or if you're going dungeoning and want overall defense and more health do a mixture of these two but i've not actually tried this out so i'm going to go ahead and just plop a few things in here ah oh, you can use my so you can't use the grim the grim hellhound okay but you can use the you can use the grim stallion you can use the grim stallion there they are look they're just wandering around there okay can we use rondo yeah, we can use Rondo. We can't use these three. Can we use Queen Eccles? We can use Clean Eccles, or whatever her name is. What about Garm? We can't use Garm. Do they have to be max level, do you think? I think they do. That's something I've noticed on all of them. All of these are max level. So potentially you can put them in anything, like even these Haunted Bat ones, if they're max level. Now, that's my Lunas first. Now... What do I do here? Is this it? Familiar herd. Like, is that? Well, I don't get anything. Active herd. Time until buff. Like, I think you may have to fill them all up. But obviously, guys, I've not got any more max level familiars. I'm kind of lame. All of my other ones are actually sent out on adventures. So let's just unselect all. And we'll come back to that potentially in a later video. Showing you the best combination of mounts to get the best buff. What will help you out as a tank. Maybe you can focus certain aspects of buffs. Like health and defense like I said previously. Or just pure health. Or maybe you want to focus pure DPS if you're a solo polo player. 
But guys, next up, we've got the familiar Fosterer. Now, this is what they had in Project Icarus Online. This is actually the only thing they had. It's what the, you know, the beast trainers that you see in Victory Plaza and everything? <coughs> That's how they um, level you up. That's originally the familiar fosterer. I've said that in a previous video. The only downside to today's uh, Nexon's familiar fosterer is that on Nexon, on um, Project Icarus, Icarus Online, the natural speed is times one. So that's times one of the base leveling speed. So it's technically leveling up twice as fast as if you had just sat there AFK. Now, as you can see, it's only 1.2, and that's because I've got four premium feeds in my thing if you unlocked another slot and put another one in another familiar in it starts at 0 0.3 my level 22 karash or karasha sorry was four days to get to level 40 i'm just i'm still in shock now that i've put in my four premium feeds so 20 up in 48 hours worth of premium feeds it's cut it down to 22 hours it was three days this morning obviously i put it in yesterday it did a bit of leveling overnight it was three days this morning completely forgot you could split the stack and i didn't honestly expect this little slot to take up all of my premium feed but it has taken up my premium feed and i can't retrieve it because if you retrieve it or if you cancel your familiar it takes away all your premium feed as well so I've been, it's a bit of a bummer, but guys, it is really useful if you do just want to keep one familiar in the foster and then do what I'm doing and just sit and AFK another one. Like, that means you can just get two done at the same time with a potential of four done at the same time. Obviously, whatever one you're sitting on will level up a hell of a lot faster than these ones in the familiar foster just because unless you have premium feed, it's honestly not worth it. 0.3? four days like I, I believe it does it when you're offline because it was four days i wasn't online overnight and then this morning it was three days so that could be worth it rather than having to leave your computer on to afk all the time but if it isn't if, it, if it's just when you're online then it's not worth it and i say that guys because the familiar adventures god bless only work when you're online okay so that's just the familiar foster and the familiar herd the last feature of the familiar farm is the familiar adventure board now once you've got a max level familiar you can send it to any one of these places to do a, a an adventure pretty much they come in varying difficulties and obviously the higher the level the more rewards you get so let's give an example if we go to hecanus highlands and go on the marana lake Difficulty of common has a chance of getting you all of these. The familiar coins will go through in a minute, although I'm really not happy with them. We'll go through them in a minute. And you don't get all of these rewards. That's why it's really annoying for me. It costs you 37 gold. You have to be online for two hours. It costs you adventure points. Well, I, I honestly don't even know where to find how many adventure points I've got. So, if you, if you can be so kind and tell me down below if you know, that would be useful. And then, just to be honest with you, you don't get much. Like, I'm not spending 37 gold for the chance of getting a legendary seal stone when I can't even use it. Or a chance of a free pack of familiar coins. So worth, you know, so worth. It's unreal. Fair enough, you can go up in varying difficulties. But, let's be honest, Hecanus Highlands... What use is a Devine's Perfume or a Dragon Emblem anymore? Like, I really like the Noble Nightmare Claws. Like, I, they are... Phew, they are fantastic. You can usually get them from Frost Keep, Phantom, if you just farm him and reset him loads. And, like, the Premium Feed, really good. Obviously, only one hour. Like, the, the rewards are getting up there. But for 57 gold and two hours AFK time, or five hours AFK time, remember, you have to be online, it's it's not worth it. Like, it, on, in my eyes, it's not worth it. Even at the later stages. So, let's go Prana's Coast and then go Trifter Rift. As you can see, Prana's Coast difficulty. The rewards are being upped a bit. You get a bracelet. A heroic box rather than just the outright Dragon Emblem or uh, Devine's Essence. You've got a level 2 uh, gem box. So, a gem to go with your bracelet if you potentially get them both. I don't know how many rewards you end up with. I've not actually completed one yet. We'll check on mine in a minute. And then you can get more coins. Let's up this to heroic. And you can see we're still not getting stuff that we need. If you're doing this really for marks, you're best off going to 
Shrift or Rift, just because the Karash Mark and the Aisha's Will, they're bind on obtain, so you can't even sell them, and their seals aren't even worth much anymore. Really, you're hoping for like the legendary seal stone extractor or the noble nightmare claws, just so you can say if someone's selling a legendary seal, you don't particularly want it, but you want that mount as a pet. Get that seal, apply it to your gear. Uh, extract it and you've got that legendary mount as your pet like it's really a little life hack there more premium feed but honestly for 57 gold it's still not worth that much i could buy an aisha's will bind on a uh, bind on not even bind on obtain just like just unbound for cheaper <laughs> it's, it's, it, I don't I don't understand, like it's pointless. And then you've got these new heroic weapon refining stones, so you can change the attributes of your weapons. Don't know how really that works, gonna have to check that out myself a little bit more. <coughs> oh, sorry guys, I've got a sore throat. And then going to Trift Your Rift, I don't want to click on any of the ones I've done so far, I want to go back and do them in a minute. And then going on Trift Your Rift, all of these, um, all of the, what is it, missions from one area give you the same rewards, by the way. And so do all of the difficulties, I believe. So look, yeah, we've just got, we've got more Noble Nightmare Claws, another Legendary Seal Stone Extractor. So if you're going for these, you're probably better off going for the lower level ones. I'm pretty sure your pet's level and the level of the area does have, like, a sort of say in the reward to ratio. But then you've got a Veldon Mark and a Cargyle Mark. Like, I would I'd be happy with a Veldon and Cargyle, to be honest. I'm missing one Cargyle. Argyle, I'm missing a Veldon, I can't complain. So it says possible rewards, and you're thinking, what was the, the loot drops of these, so to say? So I've got one in Parna's Coast in the moment. He's on a five hour thing. It's not picked up anything, like, it's not picked up anything, man. I don't know how long it's meant to take, but surely if we're meant to get more than one, it should be, it should at least have one reward by the halfway mark. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, please. So if we go into the Trift or Rift ones, I've got Avrice C. My chef, Gusto, he's got 17 minutes left. He has picked up one reward. The Parna's Coast was a heroic. This guy's only on a common, and he's picked up a free pack of familiar coins. And then my other Trift or Rift guy hasn't actually picked up anything. Like, <laughs> the Haunted Rabbit. So I don't know how the rewards are going to turn out. Follow me on ch uh, Follow me on Twitter and check my Twitter. I will tweet out what the rewards are when they finish later on today. I've got a lot of editing to do, but I will AFK for the whole day. But guys, to finish it up, we've just got to show you the familiar farm like upgrades and coins. As you can see from the adventures, you could get coins, and then you can get one coin per day just by sending a familiar out on an adventure. It's a daily quest, and you can use these coins to buy stuff from the coin dealer, or you can upgrade your farm. So if we upgrade the farm, it costs 60 coins for 7 days, so it is timed, but your familiar foster gets more EXP, and then obviously there's a higher version of that. You can't just select a version here. That's 110 coins, but it's 100% more EXP. And then you've got different ones. You've got Triumphant Crafting, and and then you've got two additional familiar herds, so you could make more buffs or different kinds of buffs to be applied to you. And all of these cost coins, as you can see, the price is in the list, so 40 and 90, 60, 110. Or you can use these coins to go to the familiar coin shop. So you can, this is where you can get premium feed or budget feed. Doesn't is it lasts a little bit longer, a little bit. Is it a little bit cheaper? No, it's probably not a little bit cheaper. It just lasts a little bit longer, but doesn't. Does it? Is it? Just, I think it is just the length. I thought it was the amount of um, quadruples your foster only doubles. Yeah, only doubles your familiar exp. And then you got the adventure point potion restores a, a familiar's adventure points. Summon the familiar and then use it. Or, oh, so a familiar has adventure points. We'll check that out before I go. You got the adventure booster, a premium exp potion, so it obtains exp within five hours, and then a heroic mark box. But guys, please. Please consider the fact that you only get one coin a day from your farm manager and then the only possible rewards are five and three coins to save up for any of these things would be a joke like five coins and that's only the chance of getting it from a heroic run my common guy has picked up three coins fair enough to him but obviously we haven't got the five coin pack here yet so I don't know, but yeah, it says it right there. Adventure points, adventure points. That's how many adventure points I've got, man. Okay, fair enough. I like that. I like that. But guys, if you've enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below. If you want to see more like this and just more general taming videos, of course, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter. Follow my 
artist, my editor, my analyst, old man gamer on Twitter, all in the descriptions down below. And Christmas is coming, guys. Okay? We've got a gamer store down below. We've got you covered for your phone cases, your t-shirts, and everything else like that. But once again, thank you so much for all of the support on this channel like, over the past year. It's been insane. And we've got a heartfelt message coming out, a 1K subscriber special, so check out for that. And until that time, until that time, guys, thanks, and I'll see you on the next video.